Shalom, I know it's a little dark. Shalom, Key, what's good? Give me a second, just trying to share it, man. I want to talk to y'all about, you know, the whole idea, you know, of hell. And how y'all feel about it. Uh, and and how much it influenced your walk. You know. And hold on. Just trying to share it, share the video. Alright. Trying to get a good view. It was kind of dark in here, man. I got the baby with me. She knocked. She sleeping. She sleeping. She knocked out. All right. But, uh, you know, the whole idea of hell, the whole idea of Shalom, Destiny, the whole idea of a place that we, you know, go to after our, you know, a trial on on earth and and i looked at you know that whole idea of hell i looked at it for years and years and years you know even before the truth i always thought about it and um and i came to this conclusion that it doesn't hell doesn't make me serve the most high hell don't don't persuade me into serving the most high Hell, and it don't, and it, and it, for most people, it don't, uh, it's not powerful enough to stop them from doing evil. Because it's a place where after everything is said and done, you go and you suffer. And a lot of people, which, you know, I can't, I can't, because I don't know their life, so I can't really judge them on this. But a lot of people rather, you know, take that big L, you know, understanding that it is a hell. A lot of people would rather take that big L to live in a in a in a heaven on earth at the moment, cause it, you know, it seems like this this the whole idea of it that I don't get, and I don't get why people. Except this idea of it, that you're supposed to suffer on earth to get something in the afterlife. I think that's not the, the plan. <laughs> the plan is not to suffer on earth to get something in the afterlife. Uh, I think the plan is to show other people how we can get this heaven on earth. And the afterlife will be an even greater reward. Uh, let me try to explain what I mean. Like how, you know, we see a lot of people, uh, you know, not really in poverty. So to me, that is their, that is their heaven on earth. And we are going through hell right now. Just to just to suffer through hell, I mean atrocities. And then when I talk about this type of stuff, I'm not talking about all oh, you laid on your bills type of struggle. I'm talking about no somebody murder your 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 brother, somebody murder your sister, somebody murder your mother, somebody murder your daddy, your kids went missing. I'm talking about that type of hell, and we have to suffer through that type of hell. And then get a reward at the end of it. You don't have to suffer that type of hell just to get a reward at the end of it. You can live peaceably and not suffer and still get a reward at the end of this thing. Did King David live in poverty? Did, did he come and take something from him? If anybody touched 
a hair on King David's kids, they got slain. And he still got a reward after death. So I'm trying to uh, promote the idea of you don't have to suffer if you don't, if it's not in the means of you suffering. If the means of you escaping poverty is breaking the laws and commandments, then maybe, maybe, you know, you, you get in your judgment. Maybe you get in your judgment. But if you have the means to get up out of, po get up out of poverty, do it man do it and then teach them ways because <laughs> uh we want to get about poverty as well heaven is not something that that we should strive for after death i think we should strive for heaven right now and create a heaven on earth and then when we die we can look back and say you know i'm assuming because i never died i don't know what happens but i'm assuming we can look back and say you know what we did a good job and then we get rewarded but i think we too caught up on this idea of something that we can't we don't have no confirmation of it outside of what we read you know what nobody told us so my whole perspective on it is not to dwell on something i can't testify on. i can't testify on hell I, after death i could testify on hell right now you know this hell we going through uh i think that is what we should focus more on this hell we going through and not preach and all, you know me i'm directing it to the brothers and sisters and not preach on the hell that is to come let's preach on the hell that's right now uh brother judah israel dropped a few scriptures in there I can't check them out at this direct moment, but uh, explain: is it is it saying about hell, or is it saying what is it saying? Or what is uh, the scriptures you uh, you dropped in there? Because the what I'm saying is the whole idea of us not trying to excel because we believe if we excel and it on the earth we won't get what what was coming to us when we die that's not true that's not fact that's not that's not a that's not how you build a nation if your life and death well that's a broad statement bro <laughs> gotta be a little more specific but uh but but the idea of we have to suffer now now see this this is the thing this is the thing i'm getting into man as the sabbath come in this is the type of things i meditate on you know um you know i build with a lot of brothers and sisters and i'm kind of like a loner i'm kind of like a off in the cut type dude because uh, i'm not i'm not i'm more of a i want to see what's perfect i want to find a thing that's perfect and and kind of bask in it and dwell in it so the whole idea of suffering right now is is a mindset of and this is what happens when you accept and this is what I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to wrap it up real quick man i'm trying to i'm trying to get y'all to see where i'm coming from you know i'm not as eloquent with the explanations man so y'all gotta you gotta bear with me so this idea of us suffering means somebody's gonna benefit from us saying well we know we're supposed to be at the bottom so let's just play this bottom role and do and and and, and let other people benefit off our, our labor and our backs so we can go ahead and get this heaven after death and i think that's a position that we are not to hold we, that's not a position for us if you believe that you are the chosen of the most high power that ain't a position for you to hold the position is there we in this position because we didn't accept that we were a chosen people to show the whole world how to how to treat the most high and how to uh treat each other we that was our whole job so if you accept in the role of of a peasant and we're gonna say a peasant and all you were doing all you're doing is allowing a king to get fat the king who don't want to serve the most high 
So, you know, this whole idea of getting something after death is a, a passive mindset. Let's try to get this thing right now. And after death, while we getting it right now in the name of the Most High, after death, you know, let's pray. <laughs> let's, let's be hopeful that we done this righteous thing enough to get something after death. Because I'm looking, man, and, and I'm big on reality like i said you can hashtag my name next to reality you can call you can actually change, I'm gonna change my name my, my name to reality i'm no more john boy i'm mr reality man but i want y'all to see what i'm where i'm coming from because with this whole idea of us sac of us being at the bottom meaning we sacrificing our talents our abilities our our, our craftiness our ideas to we 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 kind of uh is negligent you know what i'm saying we, we 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 just not pushing forward because we think we have to accept this hell to get a heaven after we die uh no look at your kids look at your kids in the face and you tell them you know what just go ahead and suffer this hell for 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 70 years and you're gonna get your heaven once you die that that's not a way to operate that's that is a way to control people and i'm not saying saying hell ain't real i'm saying the idea of you getting something after death is kind of holding you in bondage because the most High didn't tell us we should die you don't want nobody to die die dying was a curse so if you if you thinking for something to happen for you if you want it if, if no i want to say that i want to say if your whole meaning of serving the most high is to receive something after death, which death was a curse, then I think you got it backwards. We supposed to subdue this earth. Uh, we talk about all the time how we want the sky to crack and our Messiah to come back. So is he coming back to where? Where is he going back to? The earth? Or he going to this heaven we supposed to get after death? I don't know, man. Y'all tell me, and I understand what the scriptures say too. You know how you're gonna resurrect and everything. I'm a believer in that, but I'm also a believer in let's get this heaven right now. I'm not looking at my kids' face and telling them go ahead and suffer for seventy years. I'm about to go ahead and suffer for the next forty. I turned thirty, and I'm gonna go ahead and suffer for another forty years, uh, and get my heaven after I die. No, that is uh, that is a that's a weak mindset. And I think Israelites talk about Christians too much and talk about how weak they is when you just as weak when you can't see that this earth is ours. This is what we he put us. He didn't put us in, in, in the underworld. He put us on the earth. So let's serve the most high here so we can change it here and then to and establish a kingdom on earth. And then, you know, after we die. Let's just hope and pray that our efforts was good enough to receive something after death. But I don't think the death is the goal. No. Exactly. He coming back to rule the earth. I got to see these comments too, y'all. Forgive me if I don't see the comments. Sometimes I have to um, change the, the thing. But yeah, man, y'all y'all get out this idea that we have to die to get something. You don't have to die to get nothing. Who else is dying to get something? Who else? You know the other people who are dying to get something strapping bombs to themselves. So where where your faith really at then? If you think you got to die to get something glorious, go ahead and strap a bomb to yourself then. That's how I look at it. Because them the only people who really truly believe they're getting something after death. Uh, I'm I'm a believer in something after after you die you have another uh, 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 you have another chapter to fulfill I believe that I'm a believer in that but I'm also a believer in we can change this earth and make heaven on earth Shalom Shalom Shabbat Shalom everybody you know what I'm saying I bring this Sabbath being on reality and you know I know we you know we gonna we gonna dig deep in the scriptures this Shabbat with your camp and with your elders. And ask that elder in camp, 
because this is just my mindset don't do this because it's just me uh ask your elder and your, and your camp leader your camp deacon what is our plans to establish this kingdom on earth and most likely you won't get an answer not because they are incompetent or they foolish nothing like that they're my brothers it's because they don't know that that we supposed to establish this thing on this earth who is talking about the man that died you will be memories are kept to themselves nobody is talking about the people who died if our whole nation died the world wouldn't give no dams about nothing we received outside of this earth but if we establish this thing on the earth we can change everybody's mindset so let's uh, let's focus on earth <laughs> let's try to get this thing on earth man let's try to get this thing on earth and that's just my whole you know uh concept on hell is i think we are controlled by that idea and like i said we always talk about christians and how they ain't got the juice or whatever but i mean every time we talk to somebody is oh man you going to hell you a demon and we always talk about things beyond our realm our realm and and perspective we can't we don't know what's going on we don't know the trial and tribulation we got to go through to even receive anything what if you die and you got to go through a hundred years of trying to be a uh, uh trying to follow the commandments perfect and if you mess up one commandment you ain't getting that kingdom i mean we don't know so let's try to make this kingdom on earth for our children to dwell in and be happy and peace you know what i'm sick of i'm sick of people making excuses why we shouldn't serve the most high right now and do and establish something right now it's it's almost pathetic man how we uh are subject to these to these circumstances and then we understand how to get up out of these circumstances and then we say oh no i'm gonna get mine after i die that's retarded i don't want to die to get to fix anything what's the point because once you die it's still gonna be people on this earth raping robbing and murdering so let's try to convince some of these rape potential rapists potential kidnappers potential murderers to not do that right now that's just how i look at it man I, i'm not into i'm on earth right now y'all know where i'm at i tell y'all all the time i'm on earth and when that time come when when i'm laid up in the casket i can't even come back and tell you what's going on so the things that we can't testify on let's just deal with it now i understand brothers read books like uh what is the, the apocalypse of pause things like that i understand that but you know there's other books too that that talk about you know spiritual things and it's on earth and it's called the holy scriptures <laughs> so i mean y'all gonna take one book and then and then have that be the basis when earth the, everything in scripture is talking about everything on earth everything in scripture is talking about everything we dealing with right now so man that's just my you know i hope i didn't I hope i didn't come off as saying uh whatever man i don't even care what i came off as you know um 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 it's whatever but uh, my whole idea is establish something right now man like, well, stop playing games we don't have to die to get nothing you don't have to die to get anything you can get it right now you can you can save your family right now salvation to me is the idea of understanding goodwill the goodwill the understanding that being a good people will change the earth when we be an evil people it changed the earth so why can't we be a good people and change change the earth mm. I don't know man I don't know man I'm just not I just don't want to be subject I mean I'm not subject to uh 
anything outside of the most high that's dealing with right now let's live on earth i mean you're living on earth don't you want to wake up somewhere and everybody around you is like shalom 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 blessings to you and your family it's a peaceful day <laughs> yeah we got away from all these kidnappers rapers and murderers man we we off in the cut now living our best life don't y'all want to live that life if you say yeah but you waiting on the messiah to come what well, the messiah said the king the kingdom is not by observation but it's in you don't nobody don't nobody keep uh uh emphasize on that emphasize on that he said the kingdom is in you okay the kingdom is in me so you're gonna kill the kingdom you want the kingdom to die that's in you so you can get something maybe the kingdom is is in you to establish on this earth somebody got the answers man i don't know who they is but they playing games they somewhere in the corner you know in somebody's sabbath class not speaking up could it be me baby could it be you possibly but you know something got to change i mean but look though i ain't waiting on nobody to make no changes i'm making changes right now i'm making changes every day then when i pop up on y'all like look we we about to we about to get this land y'all coming i ain't begging y'all i'm off in the cut we all say john boy what's, what's on with you man why you why are you always in the field with these cows <laughs> i'm gonna say man because i'm establishing my kingdom on earth i'm not i'm not dealing with no nothing y'all talk about i'm not trying to die to get to get something or or to be at peace you got to die to be at peace no no that ain't what the commandments say you all read deuteronomy 28 uh verse 1 through 14 did y'all read that gosh i know we jumped to 15 because we in that situation but 1 through 14 is pretty powerful i mean i got a hey, pretty powerful i read that joint backwards i told y'all in, in the song before i read it backwards man i go i start from 20 i start from deuteronomy 28 68 and read on down to one so i can feel more exhilarated you know what i'm saying more 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 enthused man my enthusiasm is, is through the roof when i read from 68 to one because if you read it from one to 68 then you kind of get depressed <laughs> man i'm on these commandments man i know the only way the only way people will listen to my music is once i start doing these commandments so i know for a fact it ain't me so i know for a fact it's something spiritual going on and i need to find out how i can take that spiritual guidance to the next level and save my children mm -hmm. y'all tell me how y'all feel about that i'm gonna check the comments out give me a second all right Indeed, so if we follow what he tell us to do, we can fulfill that. We can fulfill that. I can not. Yeah, we ain't close to what we need to be with the most high. But, you know, if we strive to be perfect, he can teach us. And you then, you know, it, it's better for us to clear our minds, man, get up out of this. Because what society is doing to us with this... uh uh current situation is doing to us it's keeping us in this mindset of constantly thinking about things that's not dealing with the most high that's why in ezra you know uh, uh no no not in ezra i think it's in uh Sirach. it tell us that leisure time gets you close to the most high say a man that that's dealing with the plow too much he can't get close to the most high because he's thinking about making money too much forgive me i ain't got that verse on hand but it's in there So, man, look, man, we can get up out of this situation. We can get up out of this individuals and a nation. But if the if the brother next door that's coming to the Sabbath and the sister on the other side coming to the Sabbath saying, no, we're going to wait till this kingdom come. Well, dip on them. 
I mean, they don't see it. I mean, look, if y'all if y'all look up and I ain't in, the, <laughs> I ain't at my address no more. You know where I'm at. Somewhere in these farmlands in Ohio. Getting it. Peace, peace. Where some pieces at? So I mean, that's just my advice, man, and motivation. You don't have to die to get no kingdom. You can get your kingdom right now. You can start establishing it. Uh, I think we got to lay down a foundation for our, our, our kids to build on. We this is what we keep doing. We keep talking about the foundation. We got the blueprints. We got all the architects. We got the people who good at uh, 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 geometric things, and we like yo. We got we. Yo, we gonna build this foundation and nobody's doing it. Well, I keep saying nobody. Forgive me, forgive me. Not enough people is doing it. It's people in Georgia doing it. People in Cali doing it. It's people in Memphis doing it. But we ain't looking at them brothers and saying, oh yeah, let's follow they lead. We too busy caught up in these churches. I mean, I like views. I like my songs to get views. I can't lie. I like people to purchase my songs. I like that. But you know what I like more? Us building something bigger than that. Man, I don't know, man. Y'all tell me, man. Tell me what y'all on, man. Tell me what y'all on, because I'm behind this. I'm gonna go ahead and man, you know, bring in a Sabbath with with prayer and meditation that I can get up out of these. And like I can say, man, the most high has blessed us. He continually blessing us. But my thought is on other people, and, and I keep thinking about people outside of me, and that always keep me in the mindset of I know he blessing me, but I want to help other people. I want to be like, yo, yeah, man, dang, milk, milk $3 where you at, fam? That's crazy. Look, I got this cow. Come through, man. Your first gallon, your first three gallons on me. Your first, <laughs> that's what I want to do. I want to be a help to the people. Come milk it, but you got to milk it yourself, though. I ain't milking it since I'm giving it to you for free. Now you're going to learn how to milk a cow and you get three gallons of milk. But, I mean, that's just figure of speech. I ain't into milking cows because I understand about the, the we don't supposed to be drinking milk. But you get what I'm saying. We don't cow milk. But you get what I'm saying. That's my idea. You need some meat. I got some sheep. And go ahead and break that sheep neck yourself. You can go ahead and take that whole sheep. That's yours. That's what I'm on, man. I don't know where y'all at with it. Being the people, man. That's being the people. So where do you think these people who already established themselves in their uh, kingdom is getting their food from? Is getting their uh, materials from? Somebody is making this stuff. Want to make our own stuff? What's up? I don't know nothing about that. Y'all figure that out y'all self. And close that door down there. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm trying. Like I said, I pray the most high one day I can just dip, man. And I will. The next song y'all hear is going to be at Cowbells in the back. Uh, <laughs> hope. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, even waiting on that, the wilderness, like, I don't think we should wait that long. Not even that long. We got to do something now. How, uh, uh, I mean, the scriptures say gather yourselves together. And it don't say gather yourselves together in the wilderness. This ain't, nothing, this ain't nothing to do with you, but the whole idea of us waiting for something to ha happen, how the Israelites done it. They went out and got things done. When the Most High, he put them in situations because they 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 was retarded. We still retarded. So he had to he had to kind of hold grab our hand and show us the way. But now that these things are documented, we can see the way to go. We don't have to wait for nothing. There's nothing to wait on. He said it's in us. Show us the effort. 
So, and that's what I think it is, man. The most I like show me the effort, and we showing the effort because we doing the holding these Shabbat classes. We we putting on our fringes. We preaching to our brothers and sisters in love and trying to show them that the most high is the way. So we showing our efforts. But I don't think this is this the end of it. We have to show, you know, another level where, you know, we got to show some dedication, wholehearted faith. And, man, this world going to be changed immediately. That's how I see it, man. I don't think we have to wait. I got dark, too, y'all. Y'all got to forgive me. It's dark in here. And I got blacker. I'm being out of that sun. And I love it. Oh, man. Blessings, Judah. Blessings, man. And that's all I want to promote, man. It's us doing something right now. We don't have to be subject to nothing. We don't have to deal with nobody else's government. We don't have to do with none of that stuff. We doing it because we think we have to do it. We think we, got to, we, think we have to die and just suffer these consequences. That is not the case no more. That is not the case. You know why it's not the case no more? Because we backlink with the Most High. It was the case when we didn't know who the Most High was. But now that we know who he is, we know his power. We know he the God over the earth. Everything is under his subjection to move around. What are we, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Makes no sense, man. Makes no sense. You know, it's like we like we playing on a team where our dad is the coach and he care about our numbers more than anybody else so all we gotta do is go to the coach and say put me in <laughs> let me run my numbers up <laughs> and he's gonna do it uh uh what's that uh uh, uh doc rivers his boy you know he finally traded him but he was he he sacrificed everybody to get his boy some money he didn't care about none of them dudes he got paul chris paul of them out of there he got uh 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 uh, uh blake griffin up out of there he just got his boy up out of there. So we our father is 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 the one who running the team. Let's just go and say, all right, yeah, we're going to take off. It's that simple to me. And it's the faith thing. I don't think y'all believe the most high is real. That's why y'all won't allow yourself to do anything outside of what you've been doing for 10 years. Hmm. My baby girl, she knocked out. I'm loud and she still sleep. But uh man, I ain't gonna hold y'all too much, man. Go ahead, do what y'all gotta do. Meditate, pray, and listen, you ain't gotta listen to me. I ain't nobody. But you know, just pray for your family, pray that you able to handle things and deal with things and be in position to deal with things. And have the know-how to deal with things. Have the understanding and wisdom to deal with unfortunate circumstances. And, you know, pray the most high God, y'all. That's all I pray for. And that's all we really got to pray for. Don't listen to me. I'm out here ranting for no reason. I'm talking crazy. But, man, all praise to the most high. Blessings. Shabbat shalom to everybody. And uh, I'll get up with y'all after the Shabbat.